He held the world championship for over seven years, reigning alongside such legends as Joe Lewis, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Rocky Graziano. He fought 10 different world champions in three different weight classes and engaged in one of the greatest light heavyweight championship fights in history. He would serve his country for four years in World War II, but the boxing world has largely forgotten the fighter they once called. Gus Lesnovich was born on February 22, 1915, in Cliffside Park, New Jersey, to Russian and Polish parents. His boyhood idol was champion boxer Kid McCoy, and when Lesnovich was given a pair of gloves as a gift, he decided to take up the sport at the age of 17. Two years later, he would win the New York City Golden Gloves in the middleweight division. Lesnovich was so confident in his abilities that he once entered the office of the local newspaper and announced to reporters that he had a new punch that would revolutionize the sport. He would throw his left hand and give it a twist of the wrist right before it landed, a technique Lesnovich called the corkscrew, which he boasted would put all of his opponents to sleep. He would be managed by his longtime friend Joe Vela as he would turn pro in 1933. Gus was a natural right from the start, Vela said, and we were a natural. Unlike a lot of managers and fighters who are always fighting over something, he and I were buddies until the end. Lesnovich would be trained by Dahl Dollings, a strict disciplinarian who felt that all of the fighters of the 1930s and 40s were soft because they would break training after a fight. Under Dollings, Lesnovich would train constantly, getting 10 hours of sleep a night and eating only sparingly. It would take only a year before Lesnovich would be fighting in main events at the Ridgewood Grove in Brooklyn. He would be given nicknames like the Russian Lion, the Hackensack Hacker, and the White Russian Warhammer. Lesnovich would compile a record of 23 and 1 on the East Coast before Vela would take him on a tour of California. Once there, Lesnovich would defeat the likes of Marty Simmons, Carmen Barth, and Ray Actis before facing middleweight champion Freddie Steele in a non title bout.
応えがない。威力を殺しているチャンピオン左ハートブレイクショット